What's up guys, it's Mr. Skill to Kill here with another video for you guys and today's video is a Battlefield 3 commentary on Team Deathmatch on the map No Share Canals and the server we are playing on this time is BF3 is better than Modern Warfare 3 and today's commentary as you guys have already guessed by the title is how to get games early or before release and before I talk about that I just want to talk about a few other things uh, that are going on with the channel right now. I was supposed to do a, a, a Elgato game capture review and I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon. I'm actually waiting for my tripod to come in because I don't have it right now and that's probably going to take a week or so and I also just want to get some more time with the device itself. So once I feel confident with the device I'll upload the review and uh, I'll also upload a high quality raw gameplay because the last raw gameplay I uploaded was because it was medium quality I hadn't actually set the device to high quality so once I do that uh, you guys can see that for yourself and a lot of you guys mentioned that in the last video where I showed the whole pog side by side with Elgato you guys said the uh, whole pog looks better uh, I don't know really because personally I when I play with Elgato I actually like it more than the whole pog now in the starting my friends were asking me which one do you think is better uh, I said that the whole pog was better but that was because I was used to it now using the Elgato for a while I actually think it's better than the whole pog especially for playthroughs it's much much easier and I can rely on it much much more because the whole pog for some reason it freezes on my laptop and it's frozen several times and the whole uh, the Elgato I've been using it for what like uh this was a horrible death right here. Uh, I, I ran out of ammo trying to switch to my pistol and I got killed. Uh, but yeah, I've been using Elgato for about a week and a half now. It hasn't even stopped once. I If I start recording with my Elgato, sometimes the file is corrupted. Uh, like, it'll be a 6 minute file, but it'll show up as like a 12, 12 hour file. But when you actually watch the video, it'll still be 6 minutes. But uh, when you actually go to the file itself, it's corrupted and it'll say 12 hours. So it's screwed up like that. And uh, sometimes it just freezes and you have to reset the entire device itself. The Elgato, that hasn't happened to me yet. So it's obviously really reliable. And files has it are smaller than uh, Hopog, especially because uh, it comes out on MP4. And uh, you can change the setting of the Hopog to make the file size smaller. But when you do that, it still doesn't give you the same quality as the Elgato. And uh, the, the file size is still pretty big. So moving away from that, let's talk about how to get games early. Now, before we talk about that, you guys might be wondering, you know, what do I get out of getting a game early? Like, how can I benefit from that? Firstly, if you guys want to just show off to your friends, you know, you get the game early, you make fun of your friends. Because I remember when I got Mass Effect 3, I was getting a lot of messages when I was playing it because I never sign off. Uh, a lot of people think that if you get a game early and you go online, you might get banned. You're not going to get banned. I was actually playing Battlefield 3 before release. But we'll talk about that later on. So what you could be doing is just, you know, trolling your friends, you know, making fun of them. I was playing Mass Effect 3 and somebody sent me a message. Uh, one of my friends uh, playing on Mass Effect 2 is like, yo, how is it? I'm like, better than Mass Effect 2. That's what you're playing. And uh, stuff like that. Just be a troll. Another way of trolling is you could beat the game, go to the midnight release and ruin it for everyone. Tell them the ending. <laughs> I'm actually joking. But uh, I went for a midnight release after having the game. It was Battlefield 3, this one. I uh, got it Saturday morning, went to this uh, midnight release on Monday night, and uh, it was actually because some of my friends wanted to pick up their copies, so I just went along to have fun. We didn't ruin that any for anybody, anybody, but a lot of people were talking about the game, and we actually left my house playing the game, uh, and uh, yeah, so that was jokes. Uh, so the, these are some of the benefits, or another benefit is you could build up your own YouTube channel where you upload early gameplay. That's what I've done, and I've built over 2,000 subscribers like this. <clears throat> so my channel offers early gameplay commentaries and uh, like uh, ordinary commentaries like this especially on Battlefield 3 or complete playthroughs before release and some of the games I've gotten before release are play, uh, Prototype 2, Driver and Resistance 3, Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3 and I'm pretty sure there's a few more games which I don't remember obviously Mass Effect 3, there we go, that was another game and uh, so I obviously know where to get games already now finally to tell you guys where to get them and how to get them uh, firstly guys you're never going to get a game early from a big store. When I mean a big store, I'm talking about like EB Games or Walmart or Zellers or Target or anything that that's big, like a big, uh, how would I say that, I don't even know, a big franchise. So uh, any of the big name stores, you're never going get to get, get the game early there unless somebody obviously makes a mistake and sells it to you by mistake or you know someone who works there or you personally work there and you're safe with the manager or you're the manager yourself. And the only other way to get a game early is <clears throat> look for smaller stores in your area. There's actually two ways. Firstly, this one, look for smaller stores in your area which aren't that known in your area. And uh, these stores, they usually sell games early to compete with uh, bigger stores uh, like uh, 
the one I have in my local store, I'm not going to tell you guys the name, but it, it's a very small store. It's, it's actually in a flea market here. And uh, what they do is they sell the game early to compete with EB Games and all these stores. And a lot of people I know buy games from them. And some people actually buy the games from them and resell them online. And that's another way. You guys can look online. Uh, here we use Kijiji or there's Craigslist. Just search up the game. Uh, most games that start appearing online, like four days before release so if a game is going to be released on Tuesday it starts appearing on a Friday night or Thursday uh, this is because most stores get their games on four days before release so if a game comes out on Tuesday stores are gonna have it in on uh, Thursday so whenever you go on Saturday and you ask AB games do you guys have the game yet they will have the game but they're gonna tell you they don't and there's only a few games who don't ship out before what they might do is they might actually uh, send the games to the store uh, Monday night or uh, Sunday night just so that people can break the release date now another thing I mentioned before is that starting your channel early with the early gameplay you guys have to be careful if you guys do that because a lot of companies are strict about uh, posting or online or I mean like any type of gameplay before release and uh, there's a few companies who don't really care EA is one of them Ubisoft is one of them Activision is somewhat strict if you put commentary over your gameplay then you can post it early and uh, but you still have to be very careful you don't want your channel sh shutting down so like I said and you guys can get games either from uh, small stores or online and when I say online one more thing I want to mention is do not go go for eBay uh, there are people who sell games early I know one of them like a Modern Warfare 3 copy sold for more than a thousand dollars whoever bought that was a dumbass because that game is not obviously going to get to you early enough you bought it on a Thursday and uh, the shipping is obviously even if you get express shipping that takes two days so the guy's probably going to ship it on a Friday so he ships it on a Friday you're getting it Sunday or Monday and uh, yeah, obviously it's not even uh, people. I think uh, delivery doesn't even take place on Sundays. Whatever. Either way, you're gonna get like one day early. So never buy from eBay, because you're you're probably gonna get the game maybe maybe two hours before, or you might not even get it before. You're probably gonna get it late. And if it goes missing, then that sucks for you, because you just paid a thousand dollars for something you're not even gonna get. And uh, yeah, so look for local small stores in your area. That should be better. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this commentary. If it helped, please leave a like, leave your comments. And thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe.